Welcome to US TG360. I'm Ginger Chang. Today we bring you updates on Tiji's reconstruction efforts in Haiti since the devastating 2010 earthquake. One of the great things about humanitarian work is the opportunity to meet other good Samaritans. One remarkable nonprofit group is Solar Cookers International, and we have the CEO, Ms. Amy Jo Mathias, with us today on the show. Welcome, Amy Jo. Thank you. First off, why should we go solar? There are several reasons why it's important to cook mm -hmm. with the sun. One is that the, it, it's free. Mm -hmm. uh, you're not paying for the power of the sun. You're not cutting down trees to right. use for firewood to mm -hmm. fuel your cook stoves. Another reason is that cooking over open fire targets women. Oh. It's certainly not gender neutral. Okay. It's gender specific mm -hmm. because most in most countries, in most populations, it's women who do the cooking, right. which leads to a variety of different upper respiratory diseases, including uh, lung cancer, emphysema, asthma. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us maybe what improvements you've seen in the communities that are using this uh, sun-powered gadgets right now? Absolutely. The mm -hmm. Cook It. That cooker is a slow cooker, mm -hmm. so the women can put their food in the sun in the morning and then they don't have to tend the fire, uh -huh. so they're able to go pursue other entrepreneurial activities. Okay. And so they've seen an increase in their wealth as well. So talking about empowering women, the young women at College Marie Anne also represent hope for Haiti's future too. Thus, when Tiji decided to rebuild their school, the students were happy beyond words. A lot of buildings, from government offices, corporate buildings, treasury, customs headquarters, to post office headquarters, and many others all collapse. To complete anything is really difficult here. The new president went into office last May. This means there was no official government between May and October 18th. Millions of children were running around the streets. I saw crying children on the street. Crying people, and there were injured people with cut feet and cut heads. I was helping a friend do his homework and I felt the house shaking. I looked at the wall and it started to break. After the earthquake, just like everyone else, I didn't feel good. I know there was a mother who died with her three children, and two of them were in the school at that time. When I learned that a friend of mine, Shara, died, I was really sad, and I realized that I could have been in her place. I've gone to Marie Anne College since my first year, and I'm here with my best friends. I live at 38 Delma, a community of Port-au-Prince, Haiti. So I felt distressed because I knew that other families were affected too. Although Samara is still here, other children dead. Do you understand other parents losing their children? It always affects them. I am going to show you the house soon because it is still broken. I was with both my children during the earthquake. Afterwards, we spent three days sleeping in the street, even at night. We felt the shaking and I ran toward my mother to tell her that there was an earthquake. And she was so surprised. Suddenly I was knocked toward the board and the house was shaking like a rocking chair. We were afraid and the first thing that I had in my mind was to cry. That was my, uh, my bedroom and I was here. It was really sad and everyone cried. I cried. I was terrified because I nearly died. It was a really hard day. I joined the volunteer work in their toughest times. I was inspired by the relentless and persistent spirit of Zeji volunteers. We all worked together. We call it there was the crisis period following the earthquake and then there was the long-term building projects following the earthquake. I am still affected every day, but when I learned that the school was going to restart again, because after all, life goes on, I was very happy. The school is functioning better than ever with the children. 
Although we still have bad memories, we keep trying to go on. And we use the term, and I believe you've used it also, to help them rise out of the rubble, but to allow them to use their own creativity, their own skills in order to do this. And that's where we decided they need schools. The Sisters of St. Anne are great experts in education. The students are very adorable when they recite to their teachers. They are so lively. When we watched them, all of them were very well rehearsed even though the passage was really long. It shows how serious they take their education here. Je m'appelle Red France Joseph Antoine. J'ai 9 ans. I'm 18 years old and I'm in Marian College. I've been in college Marian since I was six and I'm still here, thanks God. I, I, I love my school. They need um, modern skills. They need skills of how to work computers. They need skills of how to understand economics and business. They need skills in language. Collège Marian and the secretarial school having offered so much over the years that they have been here, that in fact to build a future for Haiti, these schools would continue to contribute greatly to the restructuring of the country. And the problem was we lost uh, two big schools. I was really surprised to see that my school collapsed after the earthquake because we weren't waiting for this. It was kind of weird coming back to school because everything was very different. Some students wanted the teacher to teach the courses, but the girls were distracted while looking at the other side of the school because of the horrible structure. We now have all the students transferred into the auditorium. So here, they split the space into three classrooms. And we see offices and rest areas for the staff members. They have fully utilized all the space. Because there are plans to build a library after the school building is complete, we can provide books, computers, and other teaching supplies and equipment. Actually, we feel really touched and happy to be able to provide this renovated space for them and see how they are using all of it. And then you went on to say, but we'll also build the schools. Anyone can build a plan, but where are the funds? And again, it was through his uh, audacity that he uh, spoke with all the individuals at Su Chi. Uh, we walked alongside him every way we could, and this was really Mr. Shen working with OECC and also with the architect uh, you are working with in Miami. OECC has been here in Haiti for 11, almost 12 years. This is the 47th project that we completed. This project is coded PE47, the Marianne School Project. This encircling wall is made of hollow bricks. Haitian hollow bricks are actually hollow. There's nothing, not even metal inside. They laid the bricks with sand mixture. They look well built, but after the earthquake, everything just collapsed. This building will withstand tornadoes and even earthquakes. So I'm very satisfied with the design. Calling it a thousand year resistant building is not an exaggeration, as long as Haiti doesn't flip over upside down. He calls himself half a Zerchi volunteer. I didn't collect any compensation for my involvement. This project for me and for the OECC is not a project to make big money. It's an act of kindness and connecting with everyone, forming a good collaboration to complete it. Many NGOs have come here, faced difficulties and obstacles, and quit halfway on their intended projects. We wanted to share this learning experience with other NGOs. This will be our first school built in Haiti. And I believe that it will be the first and best school, lasting for more than a thousand years. Welcome back. So after hearing all of these great things, can you explain to us the cook it? Yeah, the cook it is a panel cooker. Oh, okay. And the one that 
Solar Cookers International makes and sells both in the United States and in Kenya, mm -hmm. is made out of cardboard. Mm -hmm. And then through folding, you pull up a front panel, which comes around and affixes into an opening. So all of the surface then is covered by reflective material. Then you would take a black pot, mm -hmm. put it into a plastic bag, uh -huh seal the plastic bag and put it in the center of this panel cooker. Okay. And then you position it in, to face the sun <laughs> and then you leave. And two hours later, your food is done. Well, let's take a short break to visit the groundbreaking ceremony of College Marie-Anne. Happy birthday! Can I sing now? Yes. Yes, Justin Bieber. She has all the notebooks. I traveled and I left Justin Bieber notebooks, and she gets the songs and the lyrics from it, and she sings along. <laughs> My heart um, is just filled with gratitude, with excitement, and knowing that I, this will most likely be a long-term relationship. I believe there is still much to be done, and we will continue to work with the Sisters of St. Anne to continue helping them. And, and eventually this whole uh, wonderful, wonderful situation has blossomed. Welcome to our groundbreaking ceremony for the Mary Ann and Christ the King schools. We would like to thank each and every one of you for being here today and witnessing a major milestone for New Haiti filled with hope. Tomorrow will be a brand new start for us. It's the start of a new stage of the project. You can hear on site, we are doing some work with cleaning, digging, filling up holes, and painting the walls. And we are also preparing for some excavation works for the foundation. We are really happy that everything has been solved. The design is complete, and the obstacles in the past have been overcome. So we slept more soundly last night. Even the parents who have seen the motto for the new school came to me about it, saying, we are really going to have a very good building. If we have a new school, it would be better, because it's, sometimes it's very hot, and sometimes it's very cool. We, we are very exciting, and I'm waiting for my new school. I can't win and I hope that I will see it. I'm very proud and I think that's a good project. And I think that the school will be very, very magnificent. The area will be nice and I'm really proud. I feel very well. I get the feeling I like my new school, which will be built in 14 months. So Mara showed me the pictures and it is a very beautiful plan. I think it is a good initiative and it will be good for the children. How many times have you been to Haiti? Thirteen times. But I believe Brother James has been here seventeen. This is my 17th time I've been to Haiti. So, he won, yes. I admire and salute Brother Chen's persistent spirit. That's why we decided to persevere and support them. Otherwise, there were many times when we almost gave up. 
中间有很多次都就要打退堂鼓了。It was complicated, and it's been two years that、uh, January the 12th was the second anniversary. And we're almost at two years when Mr. Shen and I and the other sisters、uh, met for the first time. Two years ago, our frontier investigation team came to Haiti. After two years of hard work, we are finally ready to start working on this long-term project. 长期的计划开始动工。说真的，这中间十七趟过程里面，有没有想放弃？我不要再来了。I never think about giving up. I feel like most of what we do is what Master Zheng Yan intends to do. 第一次就就就就这样。The future of the children is our hopes. For a better future for Haiti, educating the children is the most important thing. We need to thank so many people, from Master Zheng Yan to all the Zerchi volunteers globally. We just happened to have the opportunity to accomplish this project. We represented everyone to do this. Actually, we are all very insignificant and small. Because all the circumstances and opportunities have arise, we did our best. Extreme gratitude、um, and excitement、uh, for what could be, but truly an awareness right now of what it means to live in a global world. To recognize that somehow Haiti, Montreal, Taiwan,、uh, Buddhist, Catholic—it's a phenomenal undertaking to see cultures so different, whether it be because of our nationalities or because of our religions. Able to focus on one thing in common, and that is to unlock the freedom for children. Is we must give them education. The solidarity between our organizations that happen is a marvel. But also the barriers of our religions weren't there because you said that you were going to help people no matter what religion they believe in. Tsuji is not related to them by blood, or by language, or by skin color, but we are willing to help them. So, in a sense, they should help themselves even more. On this project, there are 36 countries donating money to us to build this project. That's the love coming from a lot of people throughout the world. This work is a symbol of love and action. Because without that, we will not be able to build our future. What kind of feeling? Joyful. I am really joyful. Mas, depuis quand je suis tout petit, je danse. When I was young, when I danced, it was like flying in the sky. I feel very good when I dance. First, I got stressed because I was shy to sing in front of the audience. But as I continued to sing, I began to forget about the fear and my problems. I also had the accompaniment of my friends singing besides me too, so that helped me too. And soon, I forgot about the audience. We sang according to the theme, Christians together for a better Haiti. We sang together, and I was very happy. Okay.
In the developing world, the solar cooking ovens are a genuine lifesaver. It prevents deforestation and empowers the poor, which 99% nine are women. It's really great that you guys are doing this. Thank you very much for coming on to the show. You're welcome. It's been a I pleasure. I hope you had a good time. I did. It's been okay. fun. Thank you. In our next segment, Footprints, we introduce you to William Kay, who was present during the groundbreaking ceremony of College Marie Anne. However, let's go hear him recall the day when he first received news about the devastating Haitian earthquake in 2010. When the earthquake strike, we are very anxious to help. I was on the first team to Haiti, so I have to report back to the headquarters in Los Angeles and in Hualien, in Taiwan. Master Zhen Yan demanded us to have every day's conference call and update the situation. It is very important, for instance, the first night in Haiti, we realized how cold during the night. So during the conference call, we asked, hey, we need a blanket. Originally, we don't think Haiti need a blanket at all. So we mobilized the blankets, then transport to Haiti. Master Zheng Yan treat Haiti earthquake as a priority, so we decide to do a long-term recovery effort. After we talk of all the possible options, we decided to help St. Anne Church with the reconstruction of the school. There were a few occasions that really frustrated me. For long-term construction effort, it's very difficult for us to find out who should we contact in the government's level. Because of the delay, the building cost increase. So the budget become a critical issue. We also have a language barrier. And people in Haiti speak Creole and French, and we only speak Chinese and English. Many times when we have difficulty, we feel it's nonsense to help. But our master always remind us to be patient. The will coming from our master inspire all the volunteers throughout the world to overcome all this challenge to help Haiti. Education remains a focus of Tiji's reconstruction project in Haiti, but the foundation will also continue to support the Haitians in all their charity and offer sustainable solutions. I'm Ginger Chang, and I'll see you next week. Thank mm -hmm. you.